Good morning, boys and girls. Today's story is called A Tree is Nice. It is a Caldecott winner. The author is Janice May Udry, and the illustrator is Mark Samant. Let's see why this book earned a Caldecott Award. A tree is nice. Trees are very nice. They fill up the sky. They go beside the rivers and down the valleys. They live up on the hills. Trees make the woods. They make everything beautiful. Even if you have just one tree, it is nice too. A tree is nice because it has leaves. The leaves whisper in the breeze all summer long. In the fall, the leaves come down and we play in them. We walk in the leaves and roll in the leaves. We build playhouses out of the leaves. Then we pile them up with our rakes and have a bonfire. A tree is nice because it has a trunk and limbs. We can climb the tree and see over all the yards. We can sit on a limb and think about things or play pirate ship up in the tree, just like Oliver did with his friends playing pirate ship. If it is an apple tree, we can climb it to pick the apples. Cats get away from dogs by going up a tree. Build, birds build nests in trees and live there. Sticks come off the trees too. We draw in the sand with the sticks. You spot the dog and the cat and him drawing in the sand. A tree is nice to hang a swing in or a basket of flowers. It is a good place to lean your hoe while you rest in a hoe is a garden tool that he's using in his garden. He's resting it up against the tree so he can take a little nap. And there's the flowers hanging in the tree and the swing. A tree is nice because it makes shade. The cows lie down in the shade when it is hot. People have picnics there too. And the baby takes his nap in his buggy in the shade. What do you think a buggy is in this picture? The baby takes a nap in his buggy in the shade. If you guessed that it was the stroller right here, you're correct. A tree is nice for a house to be near. The tree shades the house and keeps it cool. The tree holds off the wind and keeps the wind from blowing the roof off the house sometimes. A tree is nice to plant. You dig the biggest hole you can and put the little tree in. Then you pour in lots of water and then the dirt. You hang the shovel back in the garage. Every day for years and years you watch the little tree grow. You say to people, I planted that tree. Look how big it's gotten. They wish they had one, so they go home and plant a tree too. Boys and girls, I want you to think about what were some of the things that made trees nice in this story? What are some of the details that we can pick from this book? Think about it and tell a family member three different ways that trees are nice. All right, goodbye.